My dear John, today we're going to read the story of the naughty elf together. At the North Pole, as the elves were preparing for Christmas, Luno the elf was always pulling pranks. He never lost an opportunity to pelt the postationist elves out to gather the mail with snowballs, or to hide their slippers before they woke up in the morning, or to add magic like into their breakfast cereal so the elves would fly up to the ceiling. The elves were starting to get tired of this. They couldn't work anymore, so they decided to ban Luno from the workshop all through their Christmas preparations. Luno was bored. Then he had an idea. He'd heard of a little 24-year-old boy named John who loved pirates. Because Luno couldn't bother his friends anymore, he decided to visit John and play a little trick on him. He left the North Pole through his magic door and went to visit him in Virginia. During the night, he knew that Santa would scold him if he learned what he was doing, so he took every precaution so he would go unnoticed. Once in the child's bedroom, Luno saw him sleeping peacefully with his animal. By his side, he was touched by the little boy, so he moved closer to see him better. But disaster struck. Luno tripped on a toy, and the noise woke John. Luno started panicking. Children are not supposed to see the elves. John was awake and seemed terrified, so Luno tried to reassure him as best he could. But because he could only speak elf language, he couldn't make himself understood. Then he had an idea. He'd brought with him a very special Christmas ball. He took it from his pocket and sprayed it with magic dust. The ball opened with an explosion of stars. John was dazzled by its sight. Inside the ball, John saw many pictures. One picture of his mother, another one of him swimming like a fish. And finally, a picture of him with his favorite animal. John was suddenly filled with joy. He thanked the elf and promised he'd be a good boy until Christmas. Before he left, Luno promised him he would stop joking around because he'd realized that little surprises were a lot more enjoyable to others than his pranks. Ever since that day, John treasures the memory of that surprise visit deep in his heart. That's the Christmas spirit. <laughs>